pray. Actually, it was only very recently that I found out that Brother Vincent's family name was Corkery, just a few years ago. And it's also a few years ago that I started to begin to understand what the hell Brother Vincent is saying when he talks to me. <laughs> because when he was much younger, I remember, the one thing I remember about Brother Vincent is the way he likes to speak through gritted teeth. He doesn't open his mouth. He's almost like a ventriloquist. He'd say, get back to your class now. But he doesn't move his, his mouth. So, when I was asked by somebody to write something for Brother Vincent's book, I said, are you sure you want me to write my memories of Brother Vincent? They said, yeah, we are sure. So this is part of what I wrote. Unlike many of you, there is not very much that I remember of Brother Vincent when I was in St. Michael's Institution. But my earliest memory of Brother Vincent was that I hated him. <laughs> well, I used the word hate in the context of a young Epo boy back in the days when hate more appropriately describes in youthful terms some things or some person that you have even a slight dislike for. Like even the 10 cent bowl of doodles at the school tuck shop, I hate him. <laughs> so, okay, why the dislike? Oh, all right, then hate. Why the hate for Brother Vincent? I can't really remember, but it was probably due to the difficulty in understanding his announcement or instructions to do stuff at school assemblies. And when mistakes or misunderstanding occur later, we become targets of the stinging end of the long thin rotan that he carried to dispense punishments to boys who did not or could not comprehend the Queen's English <laughs> spoken with an Irish accent <laughs> and by someone who spoke through gritted teeth. <laughs> now, come on you guys. If you say that you understood Brother Vincent in the early days when he came to SMI, you're lying. <laughs> But being a good De La Salle brother, Brother Vincent will forgive all of you. <laughs> and I think we all owe you, no matter we, whether we understood your gritted teeth English with an Irish accent or not, we owe you a, de a debt of gratitude which we'll, we will never be able to repay. Thank you, Brother Vincent. Thank you.